Hi, my name's Scott Whitley, and this is lesson five in my series of free slap uh, bass lessons I'm doing and uploading onto YouTube. And what I'm going to do this um, in this lesson is talk to you about um, hammer-ons and pull-offs, um, and they get used a heck of a lot in uh, in slap. Well, they're very very useful. Um, now, if you've watched the rest of my videos, you, um, particular lesson one. Uh, I, I dis discuss the the left hand slap, which is this kind of secret ingredient to slap playing that a lot of people don't know about. Um, sounds like this: so um, you, you play on knee, for example, and then you might just slap, do a dead slap like that. Okay, you get a kind of rhythm going between the slap and the left hand slap, uh, much in the same way as using two two drumsticks, that kind of thing. Now sometimes you can d get a similar effect, but rather than use um, just a dead slap, you could do a hammer-on. So, um, like so on, you could slap the fifth fret. Um, we're in the key of E here, so fifth fret on the uh, on the A string, hammer it onto the uh, the E itself, the seventh fret. Okay. So let me just um, play around a little bit with hammer-ons. I'll just give you an example of um, how much you can get around with them and what, what, what they sound like in the context of uh, slap playing. Okay, so I'm going to really overuse them for a minute here. Here we go. Hammer-on madness. Let me just get um, a decent tempo. Okay. Bit of a hammer on madness there, okay. But you get the idea. I mean, um, they sound pretty cool, um, and they give a nice kind of flowing uh, motion in terms of uh, the notes you play, as well as giving you a similar rhythmic effect to the uh, the, the left hand slap, okay. Um, so pull offs can be um, be used as well. Um, let me just give me some examples. Um, <laughs> Okay, that sort of thing. Um, so again, what you what you're doing there is you, you're kind of getting two notes out of one. I mean, um, uh, it's giving you um, again. It's building on this idea that it's not all about the thumb being very fast. All the thumb's doing there is going. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is show you um, a specific pattern that you can have a go at uh, using hammer-ons and this kind of flowing hammer-on technique. Um, there's going to be no pulls involved in this, it's all going to be the thumb and hammer-ons. Okay, so here's the pattern. Uh, I'll play it with a drum machine. So let's break that down. Okay, the first part of it is a hammer on from the. Uh, you're gonna first finger on the um, fifth fret on the E string, okay, and then you're gonna slap that and hammer on to the seventh fret on the E string, okay, like that. And then you just as you've played that, you lift your finger off, so you're just touching the E string but not pressing it, not fretting it, uh, and then you do another slap, a muted slap. So this is the uh, the thing put together. So just as I've done that hammer on, I just lift my fingers so that they're not pressing on, they're just resting lightly on the string to mute it. Like that, okay? Okay, then after the dead slap, we do another hammer on, um, the same fret, but this time on the A string from the fifth fret to the seventh fret, okay? Now you can use your little finger to do the hammer on, or you can use your third finger. I find it a little bit easier to use my my little finger, but whichever works best for you. Okay, so here's that first bit put together. So 
um, slap, hammer onto the seventh fret, dead slap, fifth to the seventh, hammer on on the A string. Here we go. I'll repeat it round in a loop a few times. Here we go. Three, four. Now it doesn't really matter whether you do the dead slap on the E string or the A. It doesn't really matter it's because it's just a percussive thing. Whatever seems to work best, okay? Here's doing it on the E. And here's doing the dead slap on the A. The result's pretty much the same, okay? Then we're going to do the same again. Uh, so we, we do the hammer on on the, on the A string, fifth to the seventh, and then another dead thumb. And then we do the same hammer on, but on the D string, okay? So we're going to go from the fifth fret on the D string to the seventh. Here's the whole thing together. Two, three, four. Okay, I'll play that round a few times. Two, three, four. Okay, this is what it sounds like at um, a faster speed. Okay. So um, we'll just put the, the, the final piece um, of the jigsaw in here. And um, so what that is, let's just recap what we've got so far. And after that hammer on on the D string, another dead slap. Okay. And then a final move, you're going to move up first finger to the 7th fret on the D string, hammering on to the ninth, and then the same frets but on the G string, from the 7th to the ninth. Okay, let me just check I've got this right before we... <laughs> There's two dead slaps before these hammer-ons. Okay, so here we go. Um, fifth to the seventh on on the um, on the E, dead slap. Um, fifth to the seventh on the A, dead slap. Fifth to the seventh on the D, two dead slaps, and then hammer on from the seventh to the ninth on the D string, seventh to the ninth on the G string, and finish off with an open E. I'll play that slowly in a loop so you can see how it fits together. Two, three, four. Get a rhythm in there. Two, three, four. Okay, a little bit faster. tricky um, you might have to keep rewinding the video and just watching it over and over but uh, but once you get it down um, you'll find that you start coming up with variations of your own quite quickly and it's a very very useful way to get around when using the slap technique hope you enjoyed that uh, got any questions just post them on the comments underneath and uh, I'll get back to you 
Thanks very much indeed. Cheers. For more information on this or any other base related topic, or if you'd like to inquire about Skype lessons, please visit scott-whitley.com or email scott at scott-whitley.com.